Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Salem. This is the 26 DBLE model. We're going to take a few minutes walk here on the outside and inside of this new coach. And yes, I did say 2019 and a half. This has the mid-year model changes. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, you can understand this. The RV industry changes title in April, but they actually change product usually around August and September. So on the outside of this unit, you're going to notice a new color and some new striping look to it compared to the earlier version. So the silver grayish color on the outside got darker. The other old version was a lighter color, more silver, where I think this is more of a dark grayish color to me. And then you have two white stripes down the side where the old version had more white in it. Um, you have a manual tongue jack on the front of the LE version. And you have two 30 pound propane tanks on this unit. Lower diamond plate metal and then a nice darker gray metal on the front. The unit has the power awning that is adjustable so you can tilt it for water runoff. Also has the LED light strip built in. This has a large storage compartment going across the front and this also is part of the underbed storage a little bit. You could get to it. You can kind of see up there the shock system where the bed raises up. Jack handle. Also, you'll notice the paneling changed too. And you'll see the flooring is also changed. Now, there's solar prep on that corner there. Um, the LE model has manual stabilizers that are standard on there. You have the solid step entry, so you got triple entrance step, comes down, touches the ground, holds more weight, and also doesn't shake the trailer as bad when you're going in and out of the coach. Uh, entry door with the radius top and screen door there. Kitchen window, your water heater, six gallons, dual axle does have the little easy lube axle fittings in the middle there. You have two outdoor speakers. They do light up blue. You can turn those off and on. Uh, your furnace exhaust, your electric outlet right there, and a fresh water tank fill up right there. And then your stove exhaust up top. Standard four inch square tube bumper on the rear of the coach. Spare tire with the cover and mounts is available if you want that, or if you're parking it, you don't have to get it. It is pre-wired for backup camera if you wanted to add that on aftermarket. The roof of the camper does have the nice radius rooftop, so it helps with water runoff. It's not a flat roof. It does have gutter extensions running down both sides of the RV with the larger three inch gutter extensions on it. Your dump area is back here in the back. So you have your gray and black dump right there. Your power cord pulls out of the rear corner here. You have cable and satellite wiring hookup right there. And your um, city water fill is right there to hook up your hose for city water. It's got two really big windows on this side of the slide out. And then you have two, one on each side of the actual side of the slide. The two on the side of the slide do open. They have screens in them, but the two big windows here do not. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're looking for one. On the front corner here, you'll find some information about the RVs. Basically, VIN numbers, axle size. These are 3,500 pound axles, 20575 R15 D range tires, and your tire pressure 65 psi. Production date of this exact camper was 720 of 18. So that's something there to kind of tell you a little bit about. 
And you can see up top, you have the TV antenna there, the air conditioner up there. We're going to take a few minutes and go through the inside of the RV now real quick so you can check that out. Walking up to the inside, you can see here again new linoleum. So this is a new uh, feature for the 19 and a half version. You're going to find your dry weight sticker here on the side, 6,036 pounds. Has a carrying capacity, you can see there, of 1,688 pounds. Walking up into the coach, you have your bedroom on the right. This is a front bedroom model for the adults and a couple bunks in the back. But you've got a large TV wall here. So you can do a nice big flat screen TV. Has a Furion sound bar built into that cabinet there. This is the new marble color inside. So this is replacing the older colors. The unit has a jackknife sofa here with the pull out drawer below. Standard booth dinette. There is a little cabinet door on the end of the one dinette and the other side there is still storage under there but you do have to raise that up to get to it. The dinette will make into a bed if you want and so will the sofa. The unit has the nicer roller shades on it and here you can kind of see the new window treatment there. And also a little closer look at some of the wall paneling that they have switched to. Looking toward the rear of the coach here, you have two bunks in the back and the bathroom in the back. In-floor ducted heat and then air conditioning is ducted through the ceiling. Nicer wide bunks, so there's plenty of room for the kids to sleep. Now right down below this bunk is your electric box with your breakers and your fuses. And there's a propane leak detector right there. The bathroom is in the rear of the coach here. You have your sink outside the bathroom area and the toilet and shower inside behind the door here. This just gives it a little more room around this bunk area to get in and out of the bunks without having to bring that wall all the way out to enclose the sink area. Foot flush toilet. You've got the little tub shower combination. It does have the ABS shower surround around the wall there skylight up above and then a little roof vent with a fan in it also digital wall thermostat for your furnace and your air conditioner there Another new feature that they've recently started using is going to be this new refrigerator right here. This refrigerator is by Everchill. And this is a larger refrigerator. This is also a 12 volt refrigerator. The previous versions, you had a six cubic foot gas or electric refrigerator with an option for a 10.7 residential with an inverter. It only worked on 110 with an inverter. This new version now actually is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is much nicer for the boondocker who is wanting a bigger refrigerator without having to have that inverter system to kill the batteries. So new feature and you can see a little bit of information 
uh, right here if you want to deposit that will kind of tell you some of that info if you want to Google that and look that up you do have a little pull out drawer here so instead of doing an actual oven um, which you could do an oven on some of the other Salem models but this just did a drawer here so that's a little different feature on this particular LE model three burner stove top with the glass cover has the range with the hood and fan there and your microwave up there the drawers are full extending ball bearing drawer guides pretty good amount of storage underneath of there it does have the double bowl sink the high-rise faucet and there's also two electric outlets there, which is kind of nice because a lot of them only have one. So there's uh, two electric outlets there. Again, be sure to like and share and comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in checking out some more of the RV videos that I do. We specialize in travel trailers and fifth wheels here at Couches RV Nation. The master bedroom area here. You've got hanging closets on both sides of the bed. This is a camper queen bed, so this is short. It's 60 inches wide, but it's about 75 inches long. Um, so it is a short camper queen. Windows on both sides of the bed do actually open, so you can get some nice cross breeze through here. And then there's TV hookups up there, so you can mount a flat screen TV in here. And electric outlets on both sides of the bed too. Again, my name's Ray. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one of our RVs, please feel free to give me a call. Toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation.